Hey cyclists, today we have something for our ass. So here's the new saddle from Berg Composites, the Lupina Short. We have the padded version and the carbon version. Uh, so let's see which one's the best for our ass. My name is Anja and today we'll be reviewing the new saddle from Berg. So let's check it out what's inside. So first thing you guys notice is the new design of the logo. So yeah, it gives it a really premium feel to it because it's really simple and yeah. So we throw it away. Then we have the thank you note. So yeah, we can throw that away as well. And then we have this bag which all the seats come from come in. And so yeah, it's really nice. Um, and on the bottom of the box you see the important notices how much you can tighten the uh, screws on your seat post so yeah that's pretty much it let's throw that away let's throw that away okay so first thing let's talk about the specification of the saddle the saddle comes in three different widths of the saddle so it's 144 132 and 150 and you get it in also three different uh, versions so this one is the padded version then you have the carbon matte look and carbon gloss look so yeah th those are the three the most important or couple of most important things and the max weight of the rider it's still 100 kilograms and the padded version you can get them in i don't know how many color options so you can yeah check that out or just send us an email and we will try to get you the cell you want and yeah you still get two years warranty which is pretty cool um, since this is a really lightweight product and if anything goes wrong you can just send the saddle back and yeah they will fix it for you unless if it's something that it's worn out because of the extended usage yeah that's not under warranty so let's go out and test the cell Hey guys, so now we're outside and let's talk about the Berklupina short saddle experience on the bike. Okay guys, so we tested the saddles and here we have the two of the three versions. So this one is 144 and then we have 150 millimeters. Yeah, what Berg did with the new saddle is they managed to uh, keep some flex in the saddle because of the Inegra uh, material. So yeah, you can see that it, yeah, it's, I don't know if you see or not, but it flexes a little bit, which gives you that um, some extra comfort, especially on those long rides when you're on the bumps. Yeah, you guys will feel it. Um, yeah, it feels that it's a little bit more comfortable. So as you guys can probably see the rear part, it's a little bit bent here. So it gives you that stability on the saddle so that's also really good and like we all know the um, style factor is really important so if you guys want this part here in x in a different color uh, you guys can order it yeah with anything special that you guys would want so that thing is customizable and yeah. um, the design of the saddle is in t-shape so on the front um, it's a little bit um, less friction because of that shape and yeah that's pretty much it regarding the new cell and the height of the saddle i think this one is a little bit taller so if you are changing it from the previous lupina saddle just keep in mind first measure this this height here if it's the same or not because otherwise you will need to higher or lower the seat post as well because of the larger seating area these saddles are made for cyclists that have a little bit larger hips so here's the third part so the feeling on the bike and how comfortable or not comfortable it is compared to the previous seat so i rode the lupina i had the prototype which is which was a little bit uh, lower here so that was really yeah it was a hard saddle to ride on 
but with this one I think they managed to get the comfort level with stiffness and support uh, so on the longer rides it really gives you that extra support that you need so it feels really comfortable although the cells on the first feel they feel really hard but yeah from our customers and from people that I know that ride this saddle yeah they're all really happy with it so yeah I don't see any uh, problem with with the saddle being stiff or uncomfortable looking on yeah on the first side so uh, to me it's one of the most comfortable saddles that I have ever ridden so I would really recommend it even for longer rides as well so regarding the finish I'm not really a fan of padded saddles. I started with the Carbon Look saddle with Burke a couple of years ago, probably now it's five, six years ago. And I really like the carbon finish. I prefer the matte uh, finish. So yeah, and for me it's, it's better because you slide a little bit on the saddle. So I find the position a little bit better, a little bit easier. I don't need to think about it because here when it's padded, you need to sit directly on the position of the saddle so where you your sitting bows are so to me i think the carbon finished i don't know i just prefer it i think it's easier to find that correct sitting positions okay so here are the final scores of the saddle so first the look the finish of the saddle i don't know i really like the minimalistic look um, yeah i think everything just works so I would give it a 9.5 out of 10 just on the look part of the saddle. So the style, the finish, I think it looks, especially on a racing bike, I think this just looks the way it should. Simple, clean, that's pretty much it. So comfort, I give it an 8.5 out of 10. Just because comfort, it's, yeah, it's hard to describe, you won't put this saddle on a city bike so if we're looking for a race saddle I think comfort on this saddle yeah I would prefer it to be a little bit to be a little bit more flexible but then I don't think it would be good for longer rides so yeah I just give it an 8.5 because um, maybe you feel the sitting bones on the, those 150 kilometers ride a little bit but to me it's still better than feeling that burning sensation on really padded saddles which I felt when I rode those saddles so to me it's yeah it's good I would prefer it a little bit more comfortable but it is what it is it's still probably to me it's the best saddle that I have ever ridden so yeah that's really good so the feeling on the bike like i mentioned to me it just works the width the length of the saddle i think it's really clean it's really nice it goes really well with all of the top bikes so i would give it a nine out of ten and keep in mind i will never probably give a 10 out of 10 so 9 out of 10 it's a really good score so then we have the price of the saddle we know that saddles come from let's say from 30 euros and above or 50 euros and if you buy a little bit better saddle you get it from around 130 and above so this two versions they come the carbon finish comes in 365 and this one comes in 295 euro so they're more on a higher scale but if you compare it with other brands that made that make uh, lightweight saddles these ones are still on the lower end of that so my score is 7.5 out of 10 just because in the cell range that these seats are they're really not as expensive as i would expect them to be but if you if you compare it to the uh, lower end cells yeah they're expensive so yeah if you have a chance to try them out try them out first but if you already know the where your sitting bones are which saddle works for you and if you make in my opinion, if you make more than 3000 kilometers per year, I think you will be happy with Berg cells. So the final score for this product is 8.5 out of 10, but this is for the carbon finish. For the padded version, like I said, I'm not 
really comfortable with the padded version so this one would get a lower score but if we look at the carbon finish 8.5 out of 10 so yeah this saddle is approved let's ride okay so this was a full review of burke lupina short saddle if you guys have any questions just drop them in the comments below send us a dm on social media or write us an email and we will be happy to reply um, yeah, uh, if you want to buy the saddle, go to approvedcycling.com. You have some, yeah, some amazing deals on there. So, and there are no extra hidden fees, especially above 150 euro. It's free shipping worldwide. So, yeah, don't forget to check out our website. We just renew it. So, hopefully, you guys like it. And don't forget to like, subscribe, share, all that good stuff. Yeah, it makes a difference so we really do appreciate it and yeah if you want to support the channel buy something on our on our page uh, these are all independent we say what we feel about the products it's nothing is paid so yeah thanks for the support guys and yeah enjoy your bikes and let's ride